everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at the Transformers Legacy Walgreens exclusive Deluxe Class Minerva. Now I know this has been a character that many of you guys out there have been really looking forward to. She is a resource slash repaint of the Transformers Legacy Elite of One and some would argue that the mold has always been specifically intended for this character and I absolutely agree with that. As far as the robot mode is concerned, despite Alita looking awesome, there's no denying whatsoever that it really does suit the character of Minerva down to a T. Now we'll start off firstly by taking a look here at the vehicle mode just as there really aren't that many differences. As you can see she's been primarily cast out of this pretty nice looking white plastic and as far as the transparent blue here for the windscreen is concerned I think it looks wicked. It really does allow you to appreciate some of those cybernetic details that we've got sculpted in underneath. She does actually have a light bar when in comparison to kind of the bunny is and as far as I can tell this is a complete brand new sculpt and isn't reused from any of the Earthrise or Siege Datsun Brothers which I thought was a pretty nice touch you can see here cast out of a nice red with a nice white applied over the top. Now as we take a look at Minerva from a side perspective, I think the colour deco is pretty spot on. The red strip has been applied really precisely and overall I think it looks great. However, if I were to be critical, I do think the front of the vehicle looks slightly uninspired. Considering she's supposed to be an almost search and rescue vehicle, it would have been nice to have maybe seen some lifeline detailing here on these sections or just maybe something a little more interesting for the hood. This entire region does look slightly bland for my liking and it is a shame that not even the headlights have been picked out in perhaps a nice red or even metallic blue but you can see the Autobot logo there at the top we've got some nice red details here at this section and as we come around here to the back you can see how they've completely painted the spoiler also in a nice red and surprisingly the wheels are completely painted out of a glossy black you can see as we flip to the underside they have actually been cast out of white plastic yet have been completely painted so overall really not a bad looking repaint by any stretch of the imagination she does roll exactly the same as the previous mold not as nice and free flowing as some of the pinned on wheels that we have become accustomed to with some of the more recent studio series figures but nevertheless still not a bad looking alt mode at all now as far as the weapons are concerned she does include the exact same blasters however this time they've been decoed slightly differently so this one completely painted in a really nice glossy black and as far as this one goes it is just a transparent clear energy on infused weapon and i do wish that this much like the other one had been painted or perhaps just had some kind of dry brushing or maybe just a different shade of transparent plastic altogether as it really really does make the details slightly washed out considering that it is completely transparent. Now as far as the comparison is concerned, here we have Minerva alongside the Legacy Elite One and at least in my opinion I really do think from a visual perspective Elite One looks slightly more interesting especially from this front region. You can just see there's so much going on whereas here with Minerva she's undeniably just looking slightly bland and a little underwhelming if I'm being completely honest but as we spin them here to the sides I do like the red stripe that we've got going along here for the side of the vehicle and considering she transforms in the exact same way we of course do have the feet which just stick out but I guess you could have these acting as perhaps turbo boosts. Definitely be sure to let me know down in the comment section below which out of the two is your personal favourite. Now turning to transformation from vehicle into robot mode to begin with you're going to want to flip your attention here to the behind, snap the feet there into place, disengage these rear sections and just snap those in there, rinse and repeat here for this side, flip your attention here to the underside and just slide these joints out from one another. We can then take these pieces, snap those there into place, come to this side and of course rinse and repeat. Now as far as this section goes, you're going to want to just pop the arms away from what will become her backpack and then disengage all of this, rotate at the waist. This section will fold up just like this and we can begin to split the front headlights from the bumper. Just hinge this section up, snap this piece down, and there is a tab that will kind of soft click into a slot here behind the head. So snap that in there, just orientate these shoulder pieces so that they are symmetrical, rotate the wrists around, on both sides and just like that here we have the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Walgreens exclusive Minerva fully transformed up into her pretty cool looking robot mode and undeniably the mold was always intended for this specific character considering as far as this robot mode looks I think she's turned out great now as we take a closer look here at the details I think the brand new head sculpt really helps to set this apart when in comparison to Alita 1 it's just so accurate to her original character design and I think the paintwork is on point we 
can see that there's a really nice, very dark, almost Oompa Loompa orange there for the faceplate. I think those bright, vibrant blue eyes really do pierce through. And even here for the side sections, the antennas, much like the wheels, have been fully coated out of this very nice, glossy black. And she's actually supposed to have these shoulder sections. So this mold was always intended for this character. I'm just quite surprised that we didn't see her first time round, and that Alita 1 was, of course, the first release. But even here for the chest piece, this has been painted really nicely. It's a shame there's no Autobot logo or any form of logo slap bang here for the crest. I think that would have looked really nice, but as it stands, much like the vehicle mode, that piece does look slightly bland. You can see the color distribution for the arms is nice with the red, the gray, and the white. And I think this pelvic plate looks fantastic. Loads of blue highlighting. This is exactly what I wanted to see more of when in vehicle mode, just some of these subtle bursts, which really help to set apart some of the finer details. And even here for the torso piece, you can see very nicely painted out of this metallic grey. Now as we work our way down here to the thighs, much like the wheels, surprisingly these have initially been completely cast out of white plastic, however have been painted over. Why they weren't cast out of the same colour of red that we're seeing here for the actual hip joints is completely beyond me. I imagine it was something to do in regards to how the figure was moulded, but regardless, I really don't think looking too bad whatsoever. And as we come down here to the legs, much like the front of the vehicle mode, I really do wish they had just added a little more paint. Maybe if they'd filled in these kneecaps and then maybe something here for the shins. I really do think that would have made her pop as when you take a look at the figure as a whole, there's no denying that the upper torso looks great, but as we come here to the legs, they just look slightly bland in contrast. As we flip here to the back, you can see we have the siren or the light bar. This is detachable, much like the antenna piece that we saw for Elite One. Overall, a very nicely done looking figure. Now, as far as articulation goes, she does have a ball joint here at the head. However, you can really just get her looking left to right. Full rotation at the shoulders, hinge joint out to the side rotation at the bicep 90 there at the elbow wrist rotation full waist rotation the hips can kick forwards that far back that far out to the sides rotation at the thigh 90 here at the knee and then finally we also do get the ankle rocker pivot however sadly she still has that kind of indented ratchet joint meaning that you really have to find that sweet spot in order to get her to stand in a dynamic pose and I do kind of find the shape of these to make her a little unsteady when in just say a natural pose like standing something like this. Now, as far as the weapon integration goes, as mentioned beforehand, we get one transparent blaster as well as one which has been completely painted out of a pretty nice glossy black. And overall, a very nicely done looking figure. Certainly not looking too bad at all. And if I were to be honest, out of the two, I really do think that Minerva is the better looking figure. Now, turning here to some comparisons, we have Minerva alongside her original mold mate, that being the Legacy Alita 1. And not to discredit this figure by any stretch of the imagination, despite this being, of course, the pre tool of Minerva, I really do think Hasbro knocked it out of the park with this Alita. She's undeniably the best version of the character that we've seen, despite the overall character model not being being that animation accurate and if I were to be honest there are things that I dislike and like about both of these in regards to the color scheme I think that the overall color choice of plastic for Elite One may in some areas especially for the legs work slightly better when in comparison to Minerva with this character there's something new and something really nice to look at at almost every single part of the body whereas here with her I really do just find this lower region to be slightly too bland you can see how we've got the mix of the pink for the hips the white for the thighs of course pink there for the knees the feet and then that darker red here for the shins whereas with this one it's basically just red 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 white and then red there's no breakup at all which overall I think just kind of makes some of the details slightly washed out but an area of which I think looks fantastic would be this pelvis plate it looks so much nicer being painted here with Minerva when in comparison to Alita and just to give you guys a close-up here of those head sculpts both looking pretty nice in my opinion. It still would have been nice had they included some kind of Autobot logo or just the logo in general there for the chest piece, especially considering that it is apparent on Alita. But be sure to let me know down in the comment section below out of the two, which is your preference. Personally, I really like both of them, but if I were to be super critical, of course, Minerva does suit the mold slightly better. And here for a very quick weapon comparison, here we have the energon infused blasters that we saw with Alita and here are the ones for Minerva. I do think I prefer the colored plastic when in comparison to the transparent that we're seeing here with this figure i just think that the details are ever so slightly washed out here is minerva alongside the studio series 86 perceptor and earthrise deluxe class wheeljack 
And so, some final thoughts for the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Walgreens exclusive Minerva. Overall, as far as the repaint goes, it's pretty nicely done. There are some things that personally I would have liked to have seen done a little better. Most noticeably would be the absence of kind of any paint where that front hood and front headlight section is concerned for alt mode. I definitely think they could have painted the headlights much like we saw first time around with the Legacy Alita. And when we get her transformed in robot mode, I really do wish that they went to town as far as the paintwork goes for the kneecaps and the shins. There's a lot of sculpting in detail and had they picked it out with perhaps some different shades of paint I really think it could have helped make some of those sharper details pop much like we can see with the pelvic plate But setting those critiques off to the side the vehicle mode doesn't look too bad I think the red strip that we've got going on for the side of the vehicle looks great The head sculpt is fantastic for robot mode a really nice representation of the character and now with those elongated shoulder pauldrons I think it's a pretty nice update for this character I do wish the weapons were either completely painted in black or maybe just left in the same shade of blue that we saw or first time round with Alita. That transparent plastic I personally find to kind of just wash out some of the details and overall doesn't make it look nowhere near as impressive but for those of you who are a fan of the character, a fan of the design and I think you're really going to like this figure. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you guys think that this is as good as the Alita 1 pre-tool? Perhaps would you like to have just seen this mold used once and just on Minerva? Will you be adding both of these characters to the collection or just one over the other? And of course please feel free to share your thoughts down in the comment section below. I thank you all so much for watching and until my next review I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.